Cuban leaders say that the blockade has had a severe impact on the island's health care system. The restrictions often even prevent chemotherapy from being purchased directly. So it has to be brought through third party countries, increasing the prices and delaying treatment, reaching the hospitals. Now about 300 children are treated each year at six cancer facilities around Cuba. Official figures show survival rates could be almost 70 percent with the needed drug, but they are 20 percent without it. For us, it's essential, for her and for other patients with similar histology, to use a drug that increases the survival rate for these patients, as is in the case of tenazolamide.